What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince just coming at you with a video with regards to a rally that I've just done. I really wanted to get the video recorder up and running to show you the rally but unfortunately because it happened so fast I just didn't get time to set the video up. But I'm just going to go over the battle report with you and just tell you exactly what happened. So it's a normal morning, we're sitting there chatting in guild chat and you know doing some upgrades on the base and whatnot. And the next thing I know we've got a level 17, 4 million might ported into our hive and started burning our players. So we set a rally on him, um, 545,000 uh, T3, T2 rally. And to be honest with you, I kind of half expected him to shield. I mean, I couldn't see how many troops he had. He had anti-scout on. And I don't know, I kind of expected him just to get out of there as quickly as possible. And when the rally started walking towards him and he didn't move, I kind of thought, well, hang on a minute. Is this guy a T1 trap? I mean, is he is he wanting to take this rally? Am I going to lose my heroes right now? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Um, and he may have been wanting that rally, but in hindsight, he really, really didn't want that rally because after seeing the battle report and exactly what kind of damage it done to him, well, my jaw dropped a little bit. Uh, for a 4 million player to take a hit like this, it's pretty much game ending. Um, so this is the battle report of when we hit. And as you can see, he's got 229,000 troops. And after that rally hit, he lost pretty much all of them. And as well as that, 2.1 million might. So he lost over half, half his power in that one hit. Needless to say, after that rally, he didn't move. He sat there and must have just turned the game off. Because the second rally hit, I captured his commander. Or his hero, sorry. And um, yeah, it wasn't good. He's... Uh, He's completely zeroed now, and I think my guild guild friends uh, decided to farm him for about 25 minutes and take the millions of uh, RSS he had. As you know, I'm new to uh, Lords Mobile, but not new to MMOs, and I've never seen the video of when you actually capture the hero, and I thought it was really funny. <laughs> it's uh, Yeah, they kind of have a little party around him. I'm just going to put it on and show you. You've probably seen it already, but for those that haven't, it's pretty cool. They got insta-killed. Right, they, they, they don't know why they turned up, them soldiers. But look at this, look. They're all having a little party, dancing. <laughs> and then the cage drops on big guy's ass. And his arm's glitching out the big side of the cage because he's so blinking big. But, yeah, that's how that rally went. Um, so, yeah, no, really good. Uh, defended the hive against the 4 million opponent, which, you know, my power isn't much more. Um, my might's 5.3 at the moment now, so... You know, I'm not much more stronger than, than that. And I didn't know how much research he had done on or whatnot. But to be honest with you, my guy instinct's telling me that he gem troops. He must have done. To take a hit like that and not not really defend very well with all them troops in his, uh, in his base. He must have um, gem troops. Just basically built the buildings he needed to to get to level 17. And then just literally just gemmed up on troops. But without, without good research, um, you know, the troops aren't boosted and that's the end result. As far as my base is concerned, everything again is ticking over really nice. I am getting a lot of stick for these farms. I'm starting to think it was a bad idea. Um, <laughs> mainly because uh, someone said to me the other day that Champion Gear has the upkeep reduction on it and Champion Gear costs a lot of money to get. And if they were going to bring out an item for upkeep reduction, it would kind of defeat the whole object of getting champion gear, which is a good point. I can't deny it. I've been thinking about it and it is a really good point. So although my strategy of building loads of farms and using that upkeep item to make loads of food has worked in the past, I don't know whether it's going to work for Lords Mobile. So for the time being, I'm just not going to do nothing for the time being. I'm just going to leave them farms as they are. Um, just, just in case. I mean, I'm not going to bother to upgrade them because that'll be a waste of RSS and a waste of speeds. Um, and you know, if I realize if it comes to the fact that it's not going to happen, I'll probably just delete them all and just turn them into lumber mills or something. Um, but I am starting to think it could have been a bad idea. Uh, as far as everything else is concerned, Colosseum. Uh, how are we doing in there? Just a quick update while we're on. While we're on, four twenty at the moment. So um, yeah, we're still cracking on with that, trying to get down to the next uh, level. Uh, heroes. Uh, yeah, talking about heroes, I managed to get Dark Follower, like I mentioned in the previous video. He's really strong. I mean, I've not upgraded him to green yet, but just leaving him like that on level 44, I've uh, done some Colosseum battles with him, and he is really strong. His healing ability is really good. Uh, I was concerned about the medium range, because if you look on his skills, it does state on his... Um, ooh, where is it? There we go. It does state on his healing ability that it's got a medium area, whereas Prima Donna just heals all of them. And I was concerned about the medium area, but to be fair, 
I didn't have an issue. The healing was done pretty much on point by the uh, by the computer. It done it done it automatically, and um, he's attacked. His eerie vow is devastating. Um, it wipes most things out in his path. So definitely, definitely good hero to have for support and attack. Very good. Uh, Prima Donna's fantastic at healing, but her attack ability isn't great. You know, um, she's probably better off in a rally, look, looking after the siege, or sitting in your wall maybe. But no, Dark Follower. Very, very good, very good hero. Um, yeah, we've got some ranks up as well. Got some of my heroes up to rank six, so we're trying to push forward now for rank seven on those. Black Crow, very, very impressive Black Crow. She's got an amazing um, ability where she hits like multi-hit with arrows. Very, very good. Um, yeah, so everything's ticking over really, really nicely. Um, and that's it for today. Just wanted to come at you with the uh, with the rally info that happened. And hopefully next time something like that happens, I'll be able to catch it on video so we can actually see the rally taking place. Well, for, for, the, for, the, for now, take care and uh, peace out.